This is going to be a review on the Wooster Pro cage frame for rollers. <clears throat> a lot of people, I'm sure, have used these before. I use these all the time. I love them. Mini rollers. <clears throat> this is a 3 eighths. That's a quarter. These are excellent for painting on a uh, flat board of cabinets that are flat. You get a beautiful it's a quarter nap, quarter inch nap. You get a beautiful finish, nice and shiny. I painted a whole condo with this little uh, quarter inch setup and it was incredible. I like these. I, I love them a lot. The problem that I run into is sometimes they don't want to turn. Um, if you push the roller on, the mini roller on all the way, you can see it, it's binding now. <clears throat> starting to bind. On these, it binds really bad. This is a 3 ace, that's a quarter, but they bind. They start to bind if it's pressing up against the edge over here or if it's pressing against the back, the end. So you have to slide it out a little bit. And you can see it rolls better, but it's not a smooth roll. It's definitely not a smooth roll. And that is why, for those of you who have used this, you know what I'm talking about. But you can see it right now. It doesn't spin. It doesn't really spin well. <clears throat> when you go to load the paint on, you put it in the tray, you get some paint on here, and then the weight of the paint, it doesn't want to roll. This thing doesn't want to, you can see I'm having a hard time rolling it on my hand now. So, I saw this down at HD, the store HD. It's a Wooster Pro. Uh, it's a three-quarter inch. You can see it's a three-quarter inch core. I'm going to take this out of the package now. I don't really know what I bought. Shed resistant. Is this foam or is it? No, it's not foam. It's cloth. Very smooth. And so the review is going to be on, what is this, works on four or six inch. This is a six inch. You can see that there is no way that it's going to, well, four inch, that would be, that would definitely be almost full. But six inch, there's no way it's going to fill in all the way. The thing I like about these, I bought a nine inch roller, ball bearing. It spins, it should spin. So that's what the review is going to be about, is how much easier is it to use. Um... Sliding it all the way into the edge right now. Ugh. And look at that. I mean, you can already see. I don't, I'm sure it's going to be much better with the paint because look at that. It's on a, a spinning roller compared to a rod that it doesn't really want to turn. Big difference right there. A huge difference, I'm sure. And so when I load it up in the paint tray, I shouldn't have a problem with it spinning. And when I roll it on the wall, I should be able to get a nice paint finish instead of this where you can see it's binding. It's clean. I clean this whole thing. It's a little bit of rust over there. Wow, there's a lot of dirt on there now. But it's already pulling off the uh, the dirt. Look at this. It's rusting all over the place. Unbelievable. Okay, so this is uh, just a nightmare waiting to happen right now, but you can see it doesn't want to turn. It doesn't want to roll easily or properly. So uh, let me get this thing out of the way. The review is going to be on that. Let me get the paint tray filled up and we'll go from there. All right, you can see right now, this is on a long paint pole, but it rolls really nice on the wall, which does not happen with the paint grot roller that I showed you. So I'm going to load this thing up now. I'm going to load up the uh, roller with some paint. My light's kind of flickering around because uh, i got a bad bulb here. The uh, roller is rolling in the paint tray very nicely. It's spinning like it's supposed to. So let's see how this thing works. Oh my gosh, this is how a roller is supposed to work. It's just supposed to roll and paint and not give you problems with binding or getting caught. So, my impression of the Wooster, it's worth the five bucks or whatever it was to buy. The rollers aren't that expensive. And that's my review. Hopefully it helps you. Enjoy painting. Please uh, do a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, go to my donate page. Help me out if you want to uh, by clicking on support this channel and putting some bucks in there. And watch my other videos. Thank you very much. That is the finished product. I've got to say, this is probably one of the best painting experiences I've had. I really don't like painting. I don't like rolling. I don't like doing any of this stuff. It takes forever. A lot of hassle to do. The roller was incredible. Coverage was really good. I like the nap on, the, uh, on what I bought, the 3 8 inch. Covered really well. I'm looking over in the corner over there. I think that's just my paintbrush. And otherwise, um, and you can see up in the corner, there's a little bit of uh, difference in the color. Um, and you can see over here where some of the uh, there used to be a gold under here. So there's two base coats and two uh, and one uh, 
two primers and one base coat. And it's still kind of bleeding through. The roller is awesome. When you shut off the light, you're never going to really notice. Once everything's dry, you're not going to notice anything. Um, beautiful roller. The frame was really nice. It never got stuck while rolling on the wall. It never binded while uh, rolling the paint onto the roller. The nap, as I said, was really nice. Cleanup was incredibly easy. I couldn't believe how easy it was. Um, here's the roller right here. It just, a uh, little bit of soap, and it came out really good. It's not all bunched up and knotted like the pink ones are. So, uh, my review of this thing, yeah, I've got a lot of those pink things, and again, I said they're really nice for, uh, for doing flat wood and cabinets, but I think I would rather buy this, uh, Wooster Pro with the, with the spinning cage thing. It's much easier to use. Oh, you can see the paint shining over there, the light shining on the paint. Um, it's much easier to use. This bathroom painted with next to no effort at all. I, I just put the paint on there and rolled it on. The next thing I knew, I went, wow, I'm already finished. And it really wasn't that hard to do. So uh, it is a good product. And I would, I'm not going to say that the pink one is a bad product, but it does bind a lot. And I'm much happier using the... Uh, the Wooster Pro, I've got that in the 9 inch. It's really nice to roll walls with that. And this little thing, no splatter, or next to no splatter. Um, I didn't use drop cloths, just a few drops of paint that needed to be cleaned up. I went right over to the tile over here without taping, and then wiped it off. I was able to get right to the edge really nicely, which I couldn't with the pink. And then wiped it off with a paper towel. So, it will save you a lot of time, and it's a good product, and it only costs a few bucks more than the pink ones. All right, hopefully this helped you with your painting endeavor. Again, go to the channel page. There's a thing that says support my channel and help me out if you want to. Thank you.